which is mastering quiet confidence. You know the type, right? Those individuals who walk in the room and just radiate insurance. Hi there friends, welcome back to Jerry Siri and welcome if you're new to this channel. Today we're going to share a topic that many of us aim for but sometimes we find it elusive. Which is mastering quiet confidence. You know the type, right? Those individuals who walk in the room and just radiate insurance without saying much. They are not the loudest or the selfish, but their presence is just undeniable. So the question is, how do they do it? And more importantly, how can you? First thing first, quiet confidence. It's all about self-belief and be in peace with yourself. It's not all about being the center of attention, but about being comfortable in your own skin, being comfortable with who you are and how you look, being confident with your rights and wrong, being confident even if this looks like this in your face or this looks like this in your body. Just being confident and positive with who you really are. I know that being confident it is the hardest thing to do in this life but something that i learned that the moment you accept yourself and the moment you like yourself as you are and say hey i'm not perfect i'm just a human being and i will make mistakes and sometimes this will be like this and that will be like this you're going to understand yourself better sometimes we kill ourselves so much from the inside because we try to be perfect we try to be in a certain way that we are not and most of the time we think that being confident it is pretending to be someone that you're not whenever you pretend to be someone that you're not or pretend to be loud or pretend to be like i am all that or pretend to be like i know more or i'm this or i'm that you're gonna end up showing bad impression and it's easy for people to see that you are faking and it's easy for people to see that oh yeah this she's not really like that and it's most likely that people won't like you no one like fake people people that pretend to be who they are there is so many times that i have seen people acting fake and i have heard other people saying oh does she is she really like this like i just don't like her vibe or the way she acts she seems really fake and sometimes you might not know but people see that people see that you're trying too hard part of being confident it's not about trying too hard it's about just being yourself and being comfortable with who you are the moment that you start loving yourself is the moment that it's going to change everything if you're someone who doesn't like to stay with yourself or just stay alone in a place just you and you <laughs> and you're not comfortable of just being alone just for a second you always have to be surrounded by people most likely you're not someone who is too confident about yourself and you're someone who doesn't like yourself that much i'm not saying that you have to be alone but sometimes it is good to learn to like yourself because it's hard to like who you are or how you look and sometimes people have difficulty in that but in the moment that you look yourself in the mirror and say hey this is me i'm not perfect this is my imperfection and i love my imperfection i love that i have this i love that this is like this might not be beautiful or might not seem beautiful for people's eyes but i love it there is so many people that are not the best people in the world or not the prettiest but when people see them they find them the most attractive person in the world they find them the most confident beautiful the moment you become confident you become the most beautiful person in anyone eyes and that's what i realized with a lot of confident girls that they the way they take their confidence it makes people want to be around them and want to know more about them even if you get to know them and they're just empty they have nothing to say they don't have anything to give you they have this thing that people want to know them and want to speak to them and want to get to know them even if they're just empty let's break it down step by step shall we know yourself this is the first step or the first thing that you have to do to have quiet confidence knowing your worth knowing your values and knowing who you are sometimes when we have values or knowing who i am like i'm this type of person i don't go party too much or i don't do this too much we think that this is a weak or this is gonna make us look lame but the moment that you know yourself and show your worth and show that hey i'm this i'm like this and this i don't do and this i do this shows the confidence in you because you're confident with who you are and with your worth and with what you give and it's easy for people to just 
accept you and like you as you are this is where it all begins take time to understand your strength and acknowledge your achievements no matter how small they may seem when you're confident with what you do and what your achievements you're going to start liking yourself more and becoming more confident person the moment that oh doesn't matter it's big or small like i'm confident about it or i'm confident on doing this or in doing that the moment that you start shifting the way you think and think more uh, positive and more good about yourself and start looking at the bright side it is it's going to help you to become more confident about yourself and more confident with you. one way to do this is by journaling your accomplishment and reflecting the skills you bring to the table reading the bible and being closer to god can help you also to become more confident you just take your time with god and ask to take this feeling that you feel about yourself and see how he sees you and how he loves you and how perfect god made you and also helps in certaining yourself and recognizing your value embracing vulnerability quiet confidence isn't about being perfect because sometimes most of the time we think that we need to be perfect just to show that we have that confidence but in reality it's not really it's about being authentic and just being yourself don't be afraid to show your true self because in the end of the day we are not all the same and who wants to live in a world or have every friend with the same type of character or the same type of behavior or the same type of way of being and don't be afraid to show your your flaws we are not perfect we all make mistakes and sometimes we will do silly things and sometimes we do things that makes no sense but that's okay there is no problem with that there is no problem if you're silly become silly there is no problem if you're funny become funny if you're talk of person become talk of person just be you like when it comes to confidence it's not about being fake or faking it it's just about being you and just about showing who you are like some people will like you as i always say in my videos and some people won't and that's okay not everyone will like you and you're not here to please everyone else i remember a time that i was so nervous about a presentation that i had to make instead of pretending that i had all together i shared how i was feeling i shared that my anxiety i shared how am i so awkward in front of so many people and how i cannot do this and how i can fix it and through there i got like help i got guidance i got advices thing that i learned about this what i shared about my story is that your friends and your families will not only boost your confidence but also strengthen your connection like something thing that i put in my head like what is the worst thing that can happen? Like if I do this and then what? If I walk in that room and then what? If I walk in people's stairs and then what? Maybe my hair looks good or maybe what I'm wearing looks good. That's why they're looking at me and they're staring at me. That's good. About something good about yourself or like if you wear something that looks good, something that you find cute. Like for example, today I'm wearing this cute band. So I'm gonna put in my head that if I'm walking in that room people stare at me it's because of the cute thing that I'm wearing or because of oh I look pretty or because I do this instead of thinking oh I love about myself thinking negative things about myself or thinking people looking at me because I'm ugly or because I look silly or because I did instead of thinking like that think about something good that you're doing in the moment or something good that you're wearing in the moment or something good that you're feeling in the moment instead of thinking that hey everyone's just pointing my fingers because in reality no one really cares to be honest no one really does and the thing is that when you're young you think that everyone cares about all your moves or everyone is staring at you but in the end of the day no one really cares we all go to the places where we're going for the for our own purposes or for our own own goals or for our own needs in life and we are all busy focusing in our lives and in our goals there are some people that are going to focus in your life for absolutely no reason but there's so just people that have no life and nothing to do in their own lives and miserable and they have miserable life that's why they focus on your practice active listening i feel like i say this a lot in my videos that being like practicing 
active listening and just being active listening whatever the person is saying or whoever you're having conversation which this is something very important in your life regardless if it's being confident or not being confident in anything it will really help you in anything in general in your life confidence isn't just about walking but it's also about listen when you truly listen you make other people feel valued which in turn make you more confident in your interaction when you're someone who active listens to others and you're not like oh yeah i say it like it shows that you're a confident person and that you have like interest on what other people are saying and in that moment whatever you have to say or whatever you want to share doesn't matter in that moment what matters what this person is saying and you're just paying attention to this person and just listening and giving your ears to whoever is talking try to focus fully on the person who are you interacting or you speaking with rather than planning your next response or what you're going to say afterwards this creates a powerful quiet presence that people naturally grave toward listening doesn't mean that you don't have anything to say but i'm not meaning that you just listen and say nothing in the end like just give your ears when someone is talking having conversation and then afterwards you go and talk to the person towards whatever because when you listen it is easy for you to keep the conversation going and just starting to plan like what am i going to say next afterwards your body language speak value your body language shows that you're confident or you're pretending or you're not so your body language it is very important practicing good posture and making eye contact it is very important not only shows that you're put together not only shows that you feel good but also shows that you're confident with yourself with your body with how you look with who you are and offering a genuinely smile doesn't mean that to show that your confidence you have to smile a lot you don't need to be the uh, someone who is laughing all the time that doesn't show that you're confident but having always a smile a positive and confident smile in your face also makes other people feel good and shows that you're very confident person I mean, remember that those small adjustments can make a big difference in how you are perceived and how you feel when you have this good body language you're going to feel already confident without convincing or telling yourself that i am confident <coughs> and i got this it's not about tearing over others but about carrying yourself with dignity and grace setting boundaries it is very important when it comes to quiet confidence quiet confidence also means to know when to say no respecting your own time and energy and don't be afraid to insert your needs when it comes to confidence or anything in life it is good to set boundaries and to have boundaries with everything in life to show that your no is no and your yes is yes and sometimes you're there sometimes you're not and that's who you are me and you we speak like this and me and this person we don't speak like this and i'm like this like setting boundaries in life is very good and it is the best thing you can do because people will respect you more and will value you more when you set boundaries in your life because when you don't set boundaries people will just treat you as however and they will talk to you however and they won't have respect towards your life and also towards other people in your life because you don't have boundaries so they just gonna treat you anyhow and they're going to treat people around your life anyhow and they're going to disrespect when there whenever there is no boundaries in life there is disrespect so the more boundaries you put the more respect you will have people will have towards you and the more people will value you and will like you sometimes we think that saying yes all the time or not having boundaries or accepting everything will make people like you that's just gonna make you become a people pleaser or just gonna make you be full of yourself and it's not good people will pretend to like you and they do whatever and then don't respect you and use you however and then you're gonna end up being in heavy mental break breakdown and then just feeling awful feeling horrible because you haven't set boundaries in your life when you set boundaries you protect your own well-being 
and show others that you value yourself which naturally boosts your confidence the more you show who you are the more you show your values the more you you be true to yourself and don't be afraid of showing your flaws and showing what you like and what you don't like and just being yourself you're going to be the most confident person with yourself sometimes i'm afraid of doing something and i just think like okay and if it doesn't go as i expected or if it doesn't go well okay it didn't go and that's life i'm just gonna be me and give the best of me and just be happy with whatever i do and if it's good it's good and if it's not next time i will try and hopefully it will go well and if it doesn't it's just not my thing and i'm just not gonna do it anymore so there you have it i hope that those five steps can help you to master your quiet confidence as i always say in my videos it's a journey not a destination it, it will take time whatever journey that you take in life it always starts with you and it always starts in what you think if you think too much bad thoughts about yourself or thinking how people will say or how people will look this is not going to help you in your confident journey in whatever you're going to do in your life just be free in your mind and just be true to yourself and happy with your needs and your beliefs and whoever you are and that will help you a lot in life and just be honest with yourself with okay i am this i have this and that's who i am and if i have to change that i'm going to change that but don't cure yourself too much in your mind because that's not gonna help you in the long run and that's just gonna make you become a like a tight person and and it's just gonna break you be in pieces inside to your confidence journey or to whatever journey you're taking and remember confidence doesn't need to be allowed to be popular there's so many quiet people that they are just confident confident there's just so many people that don't talk too much or they don't do this and they don't do that but they're just confident because they're just themselves they're just who they are they're just true to themselves like i am like this and that's me let people accept it thanks for watching and if you find this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the family and hit that bell for more content until next time remember nobody's perfect and just be you ciao